Mike Reed and the Throckmorton Greyhounds are back in the finals for the third straight year. He finally won a title in his fourth attempt last year. There was a lot of pressure on Reed to finally win a state title. So has that pressure finally gone away with the championship? I'm a competitor by nature. I'm going to put a lot of pressure on me whether I'm playing checkers or whether I'm playing in a state football game uh, to win. I want to be able to put a good product out there, uh, put a good team out there, and be prepared. Most of my pressure usually lies within that. The Greyhounds lost to eventual TAP state champion Dallas the Covenant on September 14th. That snapped a 34 game regular season winning streak. I think the Dallas Covenant game was an absolute great turning point for us from a lot of different standards, making sure that we don't get complacent, uh, give us a reason to be able if kids start getting sidetracked to be able to bring something up to them. Listen, if we don't tend to this business, we can get beat. Had we won that game, we wouldn't have learned the lessons that we learned out of it. I'm really thankful for the Dallas Covenant game. Throckmorton also beat former 11-man rival Winthors back in October in a hybrid half 11 man half six man game. They're led by senior Gary Farquhar who plays both sides of the ball. He'll play football at Division II West Texas A&M next year. Defensively, it's probably one of my best defensive groups I've ever had. Very physical. They tackle extremely well and they're able to do a lot of different things on the defensive front to have to make that offense work. It starts at the defensive ends with Gary Farquhar and Levi. And when you have somebody in the middle like Trey Haggard, it makes it tough. It enables you to play really freely. On the offensive side, we run a lot of different sets. Throckmorton is, is a football town, so the kids are pretty football savvy. So how does Throck beat Abbott? There's nothing you can do in practice to simulate how fast they're going to execute that good size. And when you have a coach that's been in it as long as uh, Terry has, we're not going to be able to do anything that's going to confuse them or trick them. We're just going to have to be able to play more sound football than they are. While Mike Reed is used to playing for state championships, Abbott head coach Terry Crawford has waited 21 years, the last 15 as head coach, for this moment. Throckmorton beat Abbott last year in the state semifinals in the team's only previous meeting. Definitely a relief, that's for sure. We we're beginning to wonder if we, were, if we were just cursed. We're going into uncharted territory, but uh, hopefully we got a little bit of unfinished business to take care of. The Panthers beat Gordon in the semis last week after three previous semifinal losses. When Throckmorton moved west in the 2012 realignment, that left the door wide open for Abbott to reach Abilene and see the Greyhounds again. Kind of an interesting matchup since they are the ones that, you know, knocked us out last year in the semifinals. We've got a lot of respect for, uh, for their program. They do things well. Mike, Mike runs a, a top-notch program. I think he's one of the guys that, you know, he understands what it's all about. You know, it's more, more than just football. He, you know, he teaches those kids life lessons. So how does Crawford try to outwit Reed? He didn't do a very good job of stopping last year. I think you got to get pressure on the quarterback, and that's easier said than done. A lot of people have tried to do it. And, uh, we're obviously going to go out and try and do that same thing, and we're just going to have to see if uh, we can get the job done. We like to run the football, and, and we've been led by Kyler Russell. Uh, he was our leading rusher last year, and, and he is again this year. A little scat type back, you know, he likes to cut and find the seams, and uh, when he does get vertical, he's got a little bit of breakaway speed. But hey, folks, if Abbott wins, it will surely make country singer Willie Nelson happy. He played halfback for the Panthers in the early 1950s.